the testimony, the testimony, the testimony with Paula Brian, yeah, the diva for Christ, yeah, oh, why don't you, why don't you tune in every Tuesday at 9 Eastern Standard Time, you are listening to the testimony with host Paula Briard, a.k.a. Diva for Christ. And in case you don't know what that stands for, it's the finely inspired vessel appointed and anointed for a time such as this. Hey, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, you don't want to miss on speaker.com. Woo! God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yes, this is Paula Breon, the diva for Christ. Yes, divinely inspirational vessel anointed and appointed for a time such as this. And you know, this is another uplifting Tuesday where we bring the best is in entertainment and, and, and song and dance and all that wonderful stuff that we love about the entertainment world. And we do nothing without God. So at this time, we will go to the throne of Christ. Oh, Lord, I thank you. And I thank you for another day, another Tuesday, especially to open my eyes and be able to bring this wonderful platform that you birthed in me to your listeners. Father God, not let them hear me, but hear everything that has everything to do with you, Lord. This is your platform, and I'm just a vessel that you're using in this whole plan to meet and greet your listeners on a big, big, big way. Father God, I just thank you again just for uh, uh, giving this another opportunity for us to Bless the listeners with wonderful, wonderful, talented, and inspiring uh, authors and and singers and and just all the wonderful, wonderful arts that you bestowed upon us. And it's just a blessing to know that I can bring it to your people so that their lives could be changed. They could be touched in a special way. Father God, I just ask that you would just have your way on tonight as you do every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the testimony. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the precious name above all names, we thank you. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I, I tell you, this is just a wonderful, wonderful platform, and, and I've been on it so so, so, so long. Praise God. I thank you. Thank you just for all the time that you have given me to this platform for me to be able to bless the listeners with all the wonderful, wonderful guests on every episode that I have had had the pleasure of, oh my gosh, three years and we're moving and we're moving and we're going in a big way. But there is an additional way that you could reach out to me and I just want to make note of that and that is going to paulabrion.com and you can hear all the different stuff that God is moving me and doing all kind of stuff um, so that you could just keep up with everything that's going on with me as your host. And it gives me great pleasure without a doubt to bring a wonderful, wonderful woman of God. She's my sister, a motivator. She's a singer, songwriter. She is an author, an actress, and just, whoo, just so much more. You know, every time I bring a guest, they just got so much stuff that God is having them to do. And this is the platform, their platform that God has set before them so they can let the listeners know all the wonderful things that are happening in their life, the tests that they have went through to take them to their rich testimonies. And, and they're just going to offer all that wonderful wonderfulness to you on tonight. So you just sit there and you get ready because I tell you, we're going to be bringing this wonderful woman of God that goes by the name of Angela Monique. Angela, you're on the line, sis. 
I am on the line. I am live, and I'm happy Woo! to be here. How you doing? <laughs> oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank <laughs> you for being here. This is such a blessing. You know, um, I, I saw all the things that you have been doing. Um, there's nothing you don't do. You're a songwriter. You're you're you're, you're author. You're you're an actress. You're just doing it all, sis. And you know, I have to ask you the question because the listeners don't know you yet. But after this interview, they will. Uh, praise. <laughs> God, um, I am going to ask you the question. How did it all begin for you? How did this wonderful walk that you're mm. now in happen for you? How did it start? Mm. Well, the first thing I have to say is God be the glory. I give him all the glory for everything that you just named. Um, I will say it started in the womb. It's so funny that your platform is called a testimony because when I saw it, I started laughing. I said, God, you're funny. And it caused me to really reflect. And when I say it started in the womb, it's because um, many people, you know, a few people don't know, I guess. I was born prematurely, right? And I was born with a hole in my heart. So that's what caused me uh, to come early. Um, Umbilical cord wrapped around my hand, wrapped around my neck. So I I just did a post as I was reflecting and giving God glory because I was like, Okay, enemy, you you really was trying to strangle me, have me bound, have a hole in my heart. But when, you know, I came through and um, the doctors had told my parents, my mom and, and dad, when I was born um, early, that she's probably not going to make it. She has a hole in the heart. We did open heart surgery, made it through. The next thing that was spoken was she's going to be on medication for the rest of her life. Um, that surgery, one of the staples open. I went into cardiac arrest. They had to do another surgery. This is all while I'm a baby. So <laughs> got through that, and I, I just, you know, got through it by the grace of God, and that started my testimony. My mom named me Angela. That name means messenger. I have no control over what God's plans are for my life, but what I can tell you, at an early mm. age, I gravitated to music. And, you know, I thank God that my parents, my grandparents, they were rooted in the church, but more than anything, they were rooted in God in their relationship. And they continuously prayed for me and taught me um, in the way of the Lord and surrounded me in an atmosphere where even if I didn't fully understand at a young age, I, I grew up with knowing, okay, there is a God, right? So after yes. you go through so many things, right? You grow up, um, you, you go through trials and tribulations. I got to a point where I said, okay, God, I know you're real, but I really want to know you. And once that began to happen and God began to really reveal himself to me, help me to transform as I'm continually transforming, all the gifts that he gave me, I said, I got to do this for you because I'm here for a reason. I wasn't supposed to be here, but you saw fit for me to be here. And so with my love of music, with my love of songwriting, singing, and then, you know, God would give me visuals when I would write down the lyrics, right? When I would sing it, I would see pictures. And those pictures was rooted in how can this message be shown to people where they can understand it or they could take something away from it. And so now it's led me into film writing and to really, you know, just expand what God has given me. But that's where it started, mm. sis, in the womb. <laughs> in the womb. <laughs> I'll tell you, well, one thing for sure, you, this is classic because you went back. You know, some folks, they go <laughs> a little back, but you went way back, sis. And I, and I just thank God for, for, for you even acknowledging that because, you know, again, it's the test that we go through in life that take us, you know, mm. on, that, on that journey, you know, uh, it, it to get a new relationship or a stronger relationship in him mm-hmm. and um yeah. i just bless god i i know that oh gosh you went to the womb i said yes lord mm-hmm. yes lord you know <laughs> yeah but that's yeah. that's beautiful that's beautiful and then like you said having strong uh strongly founded parents that um yeah. w- really knew what it was to pray and and really get, yeah. get into their prayer closet in, in regards to you and look at you strong as i don't know what you done went through a surgery another surgery and you you still standing hello you know and yeah, we laugh you you know, th- yeah. yes we yeah. laugh at the devil because he be thinking he won <laughs> and we yeah. know better we know better through all the time Absolutely. that we want to do 
And all the times you got, well, that's, that's why the testimony was so prominent to me because I know that I've been through so much and it's mm-hmm. like, you know, right. for me to just be going and keep going and keep going. I know it ain't nothing but the grace of God that's keeping me, yeah. um, you know, oh, yeah. as you, as you say, as you said it, you know, um, mm-hmm. but you do, and, and you said singer, um, what what inspires you with the song? What what is the things that mm-hmm. the key things? Because everybody has a little niche on when oh, they yeah. um yeah they want a song to sing or whatever. What is it mm-hmm. that speaks to you to pick a song when you're singing? So two things. Um, I will start with just that that side of me, the songwriter. It's life. Um, it truly is the experiences that I go through. Um, mm-hmm. The experiences sometimes that I witness with others around me, and it touches me. Um, one thing I can say, when I, I, I hurt when I see people hurting. I'm just going to just mm-hmm. put it out there. I really do. Mm-hmm. And one thing that you can probably relate to this, when you go through things, you really, I know for me, it developed my heart for compassion. Because sometimes, you know, we don't always like to admit it. We can become judgmental, or especially people in the church. Um, if I can just be 100%, but when you actually go through things, it's like, oh, wow, God. And God has used plenty of seasons where I've gone through things. And then once I'm either coming out of it or I'm out of it, I'm connected to somebody that's going through the same thing. So my heart posture becomes compassion. I got you, sis. Mm. I got you, brother. We're going to get through this. So right. when I have those experiences, God you just like write it in a song. People need to hear it. A lot of people are going through this. So, um, you know, some of my songs, even Voice of Victory, they're proclamations of testimonials of my life, of what I've seen as well as the gospel. You know, what does the word say regarding that situation? So it kind of, however the Holy Spirit leads me, it will be intertwined in my music. Right. And I think that's just something that um, God has saw fit to, to use me to do. Um, because I don't shy away from really releasing the things that he's given me. Mm, mm. Yeah, it, it's definitely about God giving, you know, us vision, mm-hmm. you know, on, on the things yeah. that we we will will sing or, or like in your case, the songwriting goes hand in hand mm-hmm. with that to allow you to reach God's people. Um, and, yeah. and that, that, that is so funny. Cause I, I definitely understand that. Um, sometimes it's so funny says I could be in the middle of getting ready to sing a song, got one song in mind and God would just flip that thing and change, you know, it, yes. mid, midway. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I didn't understand this. Like I had to go to some folk, like what is going on? You know, am I yeah. forgetting stuff? I started questioning my mind cause you know, I'm a seasoned thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a little yes, old, yes. you know, so I'm trying to, I'm like, am I forgetting the words? But no, it really yeah. is genuine with God would just it is. have you to speak life into folk yeah. that are there. And it don't matter what platform, you know, some people, you know, they oh, they yeah. do it in their preaching, of course, you know, but mm-hmm. with me, it just goes like, it, and it really started to mess with me, sis, because I was like, what's <laughs> going on? But, but am I you not know remember it? What, mm-hmm. what is it? Tell me, because I was, well, I, was I mean, listen, and I'm just going to be, re- I'm, I'm, I don't want to be cliche, Please. but it's the Holy listen. Spirit when we're yielded, because mm. we have a plan. So you're touching on something. I, I was speaking on... You know, those times where I could be sitting, sometimes I'm in the shower, child, sometimes I'm in the, <laughs> in the living room, mm-hmm, and a mm-hmm. melody will come and words come. But let's say, using even your example, your uh, what you were sharing, when I'm worshiping, because I serve as a worship leader as well, yes, we'll have songs picked out, right? Um, I may be invited somewhere to lead worship, and in that moment, God will say, sing this. Yes. And what I've learned to do, God, he knows who he sent there. He knows what message he wants. And I think he does that. He's so funny. I think God does that to keep us in a posture of really relying on him. I think Mm -hmm. if we come before, you know, to worship and to lead worship or usher in his presence, if we come so packaged, okay, we got this. We're going to look to ourselves. We're going to think it's all us. Right. Right. But when God flip it, flip it like that, like, uh, uh, then, <laughs> even if it, you know it, it's not about your nerves it's not about oh my god right. do i remember that's right you're just like okay i'm gonna obey is you god yeah. and that's Listen. what keeps us humble that's what keeps yes. us humble and keeps it authentic 
Yes, but I'm being honest. Since I never understood, I never knew what that thing was. And somebody said it was, uh, uh, I forgot there's a terminology, bow and bow and something, uh, where mm. God just has his way uh, of just t- mm-hmm. taking what you're, you're singing about and just does it his way. And I, and I was prophesied yeah. that. And I just, yeah. but I just did not get a, I, I, till mm. it, it ain't no getting a handle of it. You see what I'm saying? I was trying yeah. to get a handle of something that you had no control of and you need to take your hand off of it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just like, wow. But, you know, I understand and it's for it now, somebody. but it's, yeah. Mm. I yes. always say this, right? You know, <laughs> So, I, you know, I can go deep. So, you know, you can you might have to pull me back sometimes. <laughs> but you you triggered something even with that. I oh, no, I'm no. learning this and I say this to a lot of people, you know, when it comes to ministry in all mm-hmm. as many ways, whether you're up on a pulpit teaching, right. preaching, whether you're singing, whatever it is. Right. That's right. Sometimes I know people will try to emulate like I have to do it this way. This is what's effective. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I encourage people. Whether you're singing, teaching, and preaching, you have to be who God created you to be. However he told yes. you to release yes. it. Why that is so important? Because in the body of Christ, we are all different, but we're all one. We're all different yes. parts, yes. right? Hands, feet, whatever, fingers, right? We all play a role. And for the people that may not know him, the people that God is trying to reach, Right at that moment when we're given a platform, it's so important that we come as our authentic self because the person you're trying to emulate, that may not be the person God called that can reach whoever he sent at that time. Right. Mm. We And, and that's why. And, it, and if you're following me, I feel like it's so important whether we, we know why we do these things. Is it about us or is it about God? And is it about his people? Is it about winning souls? When you really ask that question and you can answer it where it's not about you, right? It's it's above you. It's beyond you. It's greater than you. Then you can relax and re- embrace who God created you to be and go out. There yes. are some people that you show up in a suit and that that person on that street or that person walking in the church For whatever reason, they may just not receive what you're saying, just simply because you're there in suit. The person that come in with the the jeans, right, even if it's unacceptable for for some people, the person that's speaking the truth, but they come packaged in a certain way or they deliver it in a certain way, that person is something about I'm drawn to you. I can relate to you. And it's not about trying to be relatable. It's just being you. So we have to understand that yes. part too, because it's it's a it's a component. We're spiritual, but there's also a natural, and it goes hand in hand, right? Yep. Um, yeah. Yep. But yeah. and it's so it's so funny because, like I said, that 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 thing right there you just said is is real because you know we oftentimes uh, make ourselves out to be one way, but mm-hmm. when God is doing a new thing. Yeah, yes. there's something about that yeah. word that that strikes different when you're sitting up there mm-hmm. trying to deliver a song and he just has his way <laughs> and you're doing something you ain't even is unorthodox. Yeah. You're not even knowing that this no, is right. about to happen. Right. And There's people, you know, it. oh, but you know, mm-hmm. and coming from the secular because I'm originally from the secular, I, you know, singing mm-hmm. secular songs and stuff like that. You know, so I was always conscious about always knowing the words and being on point and making sure this and mm-hmm. the notes and yeah. you know, because I'm a vocal yeah. coach. So it's like all of that perfection just goes out the window now. Yes, this is like does. this new yes, elevation does. that God has taken me on. And it's like every, and then I'll sit back and I listen to it. If it's recorded, it's like a total <laughs> different song and it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. But you know, you didn't got up there and said, I'm going to sing. I love the Lord. And then God, you know, and, and, and the, you know, because we still have that man, that, 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 uh, cardinal man, you know, that we, you know, yes. our flesh is yes. still kind of weak. And I, I feel mm-hmm. like I, you know, I, I get on this motor. Oh my gosh, did I fail his people? You know what I'm saying? What did mm-hmm. I just do? This is before I knew that there was a, such a thing as this balls and something bowls, bowls, something. I don't remember the actual name, mm-hmm. but I know that I, I literally looked it up and it was like, it's when God and his anointing will just have you to do a new yes. thing vocally. Yes. And I, you know, 
I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. So this must be like what happens with pastors, you know, and people like that. But this is just in mm-hmm. song per se. And I've yeah. never heard this. Sis. This was something. Because it's, it's all ministry. It's all yes. ministering. Yes. And when, when you go out, again, you're availing yourself to be used by God. It's nothing wrong with having a plan because we want to be prepared. But God, when he knows, okay, you study, you prepare, now this is what I'm trying to do. And your heart is open to it. He, Listen, people be hitting notes that they didn't even hit before. You see? Listen. <laughs> like, God, I do it. Listen. God just have his way, right? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I've seen That's people it. play mu- music and play, mm-hmm. come up, pick up a piano and start playing it and never played mm-hmm. it before. You know, so yeah. it, it, I mean, I know it's real. It just was a new. I had never vocally heard that before. You know, um, yeah. and that kind of got got me tricked up. That that was something else. So I have you know, to I um, have to look that up. The bowl. Yeah, I, I mean, gotta, bo- bowls yeah. and nut, nut, cause I don't know. I don't want to say it imp- inappropriately. You know, because yes, the devil you. will try and use stuff. But it's it's bowls mm-hmm. and something. It's um, and if okay. anybody know what it is, hit my page. Let me know. You yes. know what the actual <laughs> naming of it? Because I it, I was told it. You know, and I looked it up, and then you know, again, as we do, you know, things go. You know, I like mm-hmm. I said, I blame it to my age and all the time, and ask God to deliver mm-hmm. me from from forgetfulness <laughs> sometimes. But yeah, this is it's it's a yes. real thing. You know, but I just yes. thank God that he uses us. Praise God. He he uses us. Um, and I know he right. uses you mighty. What um to tell the listeners like the new things or things that you've done that you'd like to introduce them and yes. let them know about. Yes. And and thank you again um, just for this platform. So going back to sharing how God has kind of evolved the ministry because it's all ministry for me. I have moved into film writing and you know how we do the typical video to go with the the song, the music video. Well, God had other plans, like we said, (laughs) and it just, you know, he put it, linked me with the right people at the right time as I wrote down this vision. And so, you know, let me just table it back. I have a song out called You Win. That's my latest song, You Mm -hmm. Win. And, you know, touching on where it's not what I traditionally do as far as the sound. What I mean by that, so God ended up connecting me with a producer that does pretty much all genres, right? And I just happened to find this um, instrumental. This is one of the first songs where I just use the instrumental. I usually do it the other way around. I'll write the song, the melody, and then the musicians, right? Will come up with the music with it. Well, it's, it struck my heart as I'm listening. And at that time, when I was listening to this instrumental, my father was going through cancer treatments, okay? It's my late father. And I just remember just me being, you know, a a, a woman that really relies on God and and ask him to strengthen my faith during that time. I remember watching my father, who I look at as the strongest man that I know, dealing with something that at that time he, he really had no control over. You know, cancer is horrible. And so I'm watching this and I just went to the Lord in my pain, in my hurt, in my frustration, right? So during that time, I come across this instrumental and I began to write lyrics to it. And the opening lyric was, um, a silent fear is hard to see, right? I didn't start off with the scripture for this particular song. It was just being in that place where it feels a little dark, it feels heavy, right? And it just felt like the instrumentation was it, it, it just moved with it. It was movement. So I began mm. to write these thoughts out. But how God always worked, he reminded me that no matter what we go through, even the things that we feel we cannot control, but let God take us from faith to faith, right? I said, I'm going to, uh, even in the pain, even in the things we don't understand, when we thinking we have control over things, we really don't. And it goes beyond any sickness, mm. just life, period. We want to control everything. We, we want to know it from beginning to end. God began to minister to me and said, you know, you're going to take these emotions you're feeling. You're going to take what you've been sharing with me in private. You know, this is God talking to me. And I want you to make this message that no matter, it's okay to go through the dark times. It's okay to say I'm in pain. It's okay to say I'm struggling in my faith. It's okay to even say we've been messing up, right? Going back and forth, back and forth with God. And sometimes being angry with God and walking away. That's real. But at the end of the day, when we decide to surrender, we win. 
And that was the epitome of that song. So as I'm looking at my personal situation, how that came from the place I was in watching my father battling his cancer, he gave me a whole lot of visuals. Okay, you have people from all walks of life and it, they may not be dealing with some, you know, disease or a family member that's, you know, ill, but they may be dealing with just processing life, how to how to maneuver in life. They're making bad choices. Mm. They're trying to do it on their own mm. without God, right? Yes, and yes. so he transformed the, those visuals and gave me characters. And one thing that was important to me was it's not always the drug dealer that you want to have in a in a short film that's, you know, mm. overcoming. But what about our clergy? What about our pastors? Mm -hmm. We forget mm -hmm. about them. We need prayer too, right? The pastors, the worshipers. That's right. We, that's we right. go through things too. We're no different. And so as I began to write out the script for that, going with the song that I then, you know, finally released, and he was like, all right, now you need to put a visual. I, I came up with the pastor and I came up with a storyline for him. I came up with a storyline for a woman that's went through a miscarriage, you know, lost. And I don't want to give everything away, but these are real things that happen to people. And it's like, okay, yes. you're celebrating life and then it's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's heavy. And I know a mm -hmm. lot of women that's experienced that. And then, you know, someone with our youth, maybe, you know, they've gone off track there into games. So these are different generations of people, different walks of life coming together. But the thing about it, God gives things to me where it's not about me. I tell the story, but the way it's supposed to really move people should take away something different, some nugget away from it that's directly impacting their spirit, directly impacting them in a way where they could sit there and tell me like, oh, wow, this film speaks to me in this way. And like five people will say five different things. But at the end of the day, it, it, it all it's all a part of the message that God is trying yeah. to send. So and yeah. I found that out when I recently did the film premiere as different ages were sharing after they watched the short film. Everybody came up with something different. But it was important for me to also show in that film more than just you win with God, right? When he's there, we're more than conquerors, that message, right? But right here on earth, God moves through people. Sometimes it's through the relationships and also through the connections where we find God. And yes. when you watch the short film, you're going to pull that too to inspire that even in your pain, even in your struggles, when you finally say, okay, God, I need you to come in and, and, and lead this, even when it's ugly and dark, you know, you you find that there is purpose that can be birthed out of those moments. Yeah. And lastly, it was important for me to not close the ending of these storylines with a neat, nice bow. You know, where you watch a movie and everything just comes together at the end and it's a happy ending. Mm -hmm. I needed to leave it open. You 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 gain something from their story, but leave it open where it's like, OK, I'm ready for part two. What's the, what's the rest of this journey? Because that's the reality of what life is. It's not always, all right, sealed up. Okay, she lost a baby. She got another baby. That's not always what happens, right? right, right Sometimes right. it's a journey through that that God uses. But we have to know that even in the journey, all things are still going to work out for our good. That's just what it mm. is. So mm -hmm. that that's my project that's out now. The song you win and the short film you win that's available on YouTube and it's available. It's on multiple platforms, but you can go directly to my YouTube and sh and stream it from there. Wow, God is good. I tell you, yeah, that's I'm you know, and that oftentimes, like you said, we look for that wonderful, uh, bold up ending. And that's not mm -hmm. always the, the you know, we, we lose in folk. We do it, you know, uh, like you said, women are not bearing fruit, you know, as far as babies mm -hmm. and stuff. But, you know, praise God for God, right? Praise God yes, for the yes. fact that we can raise up a standard. And even though we may not be able to bear a child, but 
gosh, all the people of the world that we can help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the tutoring your neighbor's children and just being a part, just watching out for your neighbor's uh, children, you know, which is what I was brought up on, you know, and a lot of mm-hmm, that, you know, mm-hmm. I'm praying that that will come back to be what it should be, where we're looking out for each other. And we're being, you know, our sister and our brothers uh, sharpening them, you know, their iron sharpens the iron, right? And and just being yeah, that for absolutely. them. You know, um, and that's that's what we need to be um, built. This this is what this whole um, ministry thing is all about. It's about giving back, you know, to the community yes. so that they can be spiritually fed and they can be yes. met where they need it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not about me or you saying, oh, you need this, right? Hello, you just mm-hmm. said that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's about mm-hmm. what saith the Lord and what God yes. would have to for you to change like folk oh you know this person shouldn't be smoking and like you said before about somebody mm-hmm. coming into the church and they not dressed appropriately mm-hmm. Woo. Mm-hmm. you know woe to you who who come right. against those those wonderful people because you know that that's a problem right there and god mm-hmm. ain't happy with that kind of behavior you know what i'm saying and people right. understand i know there's rules and protocols to certain things but when it comes down mm-hmm. to god and what he has for folk that ain't a protocol yeah. That ain't a protocol. That that ain't no it. protocol now. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta watch yeah. that thing because he is. Yeah. He, when Jesus walked, he walked with the worst of the worst, right? Yeah. And he, yeah. he was able to flip them and change them to make them who they needed to be. Listen, yes. who they yes. needed yes. to be for the people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't, and, and people was like, oh, but they, they, they was, he was walking with these criminals, and, and they wasn't changed. How you know? He, he used them exactly, exactly where they, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. You, I have sung in prisons, and trust yeah. me, people's lives have changed. It's great. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. I, I ain't had to be no prisoner for me to make a difference. Hello? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, I ain't have to be. But yes. God placed me in there for a reason. Yes. Yes, he did. And yes, he <laughs> You said something, too. You know, we are not the ones that save. I, I love what mm. you just said, too. We have to mm. remember that, you know, I got, he, he waters the seeds. He does yes. the rest. Sometimes we're just sent out to plant the seeds. You know, may, may God get the glory in every seed we plant, sis, like whether we're singing, teaching, doing films, we're planting That's the it. seeds and let God That's water, it. let him do it. I think when people, again, when they get so caught up in they self talking about protocols and oh this person you're playing God oh yeah just oh yeah be love just be and, and conviction comes when it's I pure, know that's right. love is perfect conviction yes. comes you may not see it but God knows He's watering just plant mm, the seed mm. all the commandments yes. are fulfilled when we do that one love one yes. another and yes. we're missing that that's the part we skip yes. all the time. But yep. I, I pray that we get better in it as more of the body of Christ yes. become what God has called us to be. And we and we don't try to conform, but be what God has called us to be. Walk in love and just plant these seeds and do so and just, unapologetically. And, and, and you said yeah. it, you said it. It's not about what it look like in the, in one no. person's eye, you know, and and this is yeah. what we really, we need to get in alignment with to understand that there's no yeah. proper way to do it, but to do it the no. way God is doing it and allow yeah. him to do what he needs to do yeah. in that person, for that person. Yeah. And like I said, it's not going to change overnight. It's not going to change. But like you said, you water, you, right. you, you put them seeds down. That don't mean you're going to yeah. actually see the plant. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And when we may not be called. Yeah, Listen. we may not be called to see it. God just said, exactly. just do what I tell you to do. And keep keep on moving. Keep on doing yes. it. It's not for us. Unless God has called you like, okay, stay by that person's side. Check on them. Right, but when right. you have released something, and if God has not given you any other instructions, trust yes. and walk in faith and know. Speak life over that person. Yes. And know, you know, keep mm. it moving. It, it reminds me of, you know, because you're a singer as well, right? It yes. reminds me, you know, um, doing worship, right? And yes. <laughs> I'm being careful kind of what I say. I don't want to No, no. Nope. You're doing worship, Let's and you know that's kind of like a running joke, right? Where it's like, mm-hmm. okay, when they when the worshiper is yelling at the congregation, come on, stand on your feet, get up, clap for the Lord. You need to run around, you know, all that kind of stuff. Some people mm-hmm. do. Um, the thing is that they miss. We don't know what's going on in a person's heart. 
and and I'll say this, there's times where I've had an opportunity where, um, let's say after worship, right? And I have an opportunity to fellowship with um, just people after. And maybe a person that was just sit, sit in stone face, right? Just sit in stone face. Mm-hmm. They come up and they just begin to pour out, releasing and 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 sharing about, oh my God, you know, just the presence of the Lord, and this is what I'm experiencing right now, and pray for me. But what I realize, we, it, it's us when we package it and we think that, oh my gosh, you got to be excited for the Lord, run around the place. Sometimes people are processing. Sometimes people are sitting when we have truly brought in the presence through the worship, right? When we choose, sometimes people will just be in awe of the presence of the Lord. Yes, they're not, yes. we're not there to entertain. They're there and they're so caught up in the presence of the Lord and they're hearing, they're hearing the spirit of God speaking to them. So sometimes they're not running around. Sometimes they're just like, oh my, this is a new thing. I hear the voice of the Lord. I'm just in this presence. So it's not for us to even judge reactions. It's not for us to judge what people are doing or what they're not doing. Again, mm-hmm. going back to what I said, just plant the seed. If you are a worshiper, you, you worship. Yes. Let the, let the spirit do the rest. Let go. And Don't let yell go. at people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Don't yell at people. <laughs> oh, you know, because then the other piece to that. People then begin to question. I'm saying that they're new, right? They, this is something new. They're, they're new in learning about God. They're new into even a religious right. setting, entering in a church. Sometimes they first time even coming to a church, for example. They thinking there's something wrong with them. Well, I, I didn't I didn't catch the Holy Ghost by shouting or I didn't run around. Is something wrong with me? Everybody else. Mm. And that's the danger we do when we try yes. to make a package or say this is what it looks like. Yes. And, and, well, that, I, and that has happened. You know, yes, many times, many times. Yeah. I, I got to say that and we calling it out. You know, you sometimes yeah. you can easily run off of folk instead of, yeah. you know, uh, handling things in a loving way. And like I said, as yeah. far as yelling and being loud, I'm very boisterous. I'm very boisterous. <laughs> but God, I was told by somebody, I never forget. They said, you too loud. To be, you, you could yeah. never, I could never allow you to be a minister because you'd run yeah. people off. Mm-hmm. And I can be yeah, not, not loud. I, I'm saying when you, you know, the people that they like, you need to get on your feet. God is, you know, that's no, fine. No. No, but let it be authentic. No, but no, but honestly, you you yeah, hit me yeah. because even the ushers, they yeah. some if they ain't a good you know usher with the smile on their face, folk you know it'll turn people off. You know, so mm. I think it's positions. I think it's uh you know the is it reachable? You know what I'm saying? Is it reachable? Yeah, because yeah. even though you might have a, have a sour face usher at the door. Usually, yeah. if you walk through that door, you'll meet something that'll 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 that gravitate to the person. You you understand what I'm saying? Because, yes. like I said, yes. I was told I could never be a minister. Yeah, mm-hmm. I could never mm-hmm. be a minister because I'm just so loud. You know the what I'm saying? And I'll run liar. people off. Yeah, <laughs> the devil is a liar because for a time such as this, they need somebody like me that's going to be in that yes. face some folks. All you know what I'm saying? You need mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I believe that I'm being used, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm bold and I'm in your face. And, and you yeah. know, we've had times of that, you know, sweet, kind, candy coat and stuff that goes on sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, but everybody's not the same. It's not to say right. that they're wrong, but how Absolutely. dare you say that I'm wrong, right? I mean, right. you yeah. know, but just, oh. but just to be clear... I'm just saying, just to be very clear to my point, it's not, you know, about loud because I definitely advocate. Everybody has to be authentic to who God has called them to be. I'm saying when you're leading and when we're expecting people, you're not running around. I need you to run around when we're trying to dictate what that worship needs to look like. I just want to be clear because it, it has nothing to do with people toning down or not. When I say don't yell at the people, I'm talking about trying to force them to do something that could not you even be authentic. Right. They're doing it because right. you said it. But no, what we should really, and, and you know, and you know the root to that, it could be the root could possibly be pride because you want a response from the audience because this is what you need. Mm-hmm. But we got to, again, stay back to what God is doing and what he is trying to do in that moment. We cannot yep. judge or try to dictate how people move. That's and, right. you know, and like you That's said, right. it goes deep. It goes to somebody telling you, you too loud. Well, who said mm-hmm. that? <laughs> who told that person 
No. Let's be authentic. Yeah. Yep. You got to yeah. be yourself according to God. It has nothing according to do with to man. God. Listeners, you've heard it right, right. here. You know, it's, it's not about <laughs> the next one. Listen, it's yes. not about, yes. you know, what say this person or that person. It's what saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are taking out of this lesson on tonight. This is what this whole focus is about. And I, press, I thank God for you for bringing this to the attention of the listeners because mm -hmm. some of them have experienced this and never went back to church. Um, right. You know, you've lost souls, you know, in the church realm of where they sh might have should have been, but mm -hmm. they had to search because it was just such an uncomfortable setting being where they were. Mm -hmm. And that that has to change. God wants us to welcome them in. God wants them to come into the house, into the church house, um, you know, uh, and, and do what what he needs done for them. You know, not that they should have to go months and months or years just to find what they should have found in your church. And this is yeah, speaking to yeah. pastors that just they they just don't understand, you know, the ushers. When you when we walk into your door, we need to see something that's going to invite us. I ain't saying it got to be a smile. Sometimes it's just a gesture. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody saying you got to even say nothing. Sometimes it's just mm -hmm. like you said, that smile on the face or just a pat mm -hmm. on your back or, you know, whatever, whatever. Wow. But you mm -hmm. should be reachable. You should be yes. reachable. Praise God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You said you've said it. You know, um, I listeners, you have truly been blessed and, and I have to ask you this before we go. Um, if you were to to, you know, counsel someone or, or someone who does not know the Lord for themselves, how, how what would that look like? What what would your hmm. word of wisdom be to them as listeners that are that are listening? Well, for one, um, I guess I'm, I'm switching over into that counseling and teaching hat for a moment. I don't think there's a one size fit all. And, and I, I mean that sincerely. The mm. first key to counsel anybody as believers is to listen and to be present. We don't have all the answers. We're all on this journey together. And that will probably be something that I tell that person to let them know there's no hierarchy. I'm not bigger than you. I'm not above you. Mm. You're not under me. But I'm here standing with you, sister, and we're standing together and we're learning together. But the things that God has shown me, you find some benefit in it. God is leading me to share something with you. And I'll tell you, God is leading me to share this with you. I'm going to share it with you. No judgment for God, again, planting the seed and for God to water it and asking for him to give you revelation. But my job as a as a counselor and minister is to stand with the unbeliever of those that mm. you know are seeking God and don't know, let them know I'm right here with you. You have questions. We can study together. We can go before the father together. Sometimes it's like, well, how do I pray? Well, I'm going to always pray before I open my mouth to say any word because I don't want to release anything that God yes. hasn't told me to say because mm -hmm. you can definitely cause more harm. When God is not telling you to speak, it's okay to be silent and it's okay to tell that person, you know what, I'm going to pray with you. Let's go before him right now. And because mm. you're seeking him and we're praying in Jesus name, guess what? He hears your prayer too. Sometimes people just need to know that because they're coming from places where they've been hurt. They've been broken. Sometimes they don't feel like God hears them. But when mm. you stand as a sister and as a brother and let yeah. them know that you're with them, then that begins to take off any hardness of the heart, you know, in the name of Jesus, any hardness of the heart, it begins to fall. And you start off in asking God to have his way in this relationship and this connection, have his way, invite them to studying the word, asking God, where do you want us to start and just stand with them in that. That's, that's the basic that I could say, but everybody's situation is different. There's hmm. times like I shared before, I've gone through situations and then God has connected me to someone and I didn't push. I'm just being a friend. I'm just being present. And then they feel comfortable and I find mm. out they're going through the very thing I just finished going through. So now I'm wow. like, okay, God, now I can yes. minister because they probably looked at me. I didn't know you, you went through that too. Yes. And that opens the door. So being present and listening, listen mm. to their heart without judgment. And let God guide you with the words. 
That's it. <laughs> and he will. And he will. Yes. Sis. Well, you know what? Um, we could talk for hours. I love this. Ah, you got to come back. This is definitely an open door policy for you and welcoming you to come on back because there definitely wasn't enough time here. You know, God oh, would have you. you to speak some 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 other stuff that I know you're doing. And again, you're welcome to come on back. Um, but you know, uh, in this time, we always offer uh, the opportunity for the guests to. Uh, I open in prayer, and I would ask that you would close with prayer. But before you actually start, I would like for you to just give the information again on to how people can reach out to you, email anything that you feel accessible. Okay. Sure. So you can go to my YouTube. It's official Angela Monique. Okay. And you can also connect with me on Instagram. It's, you know, everything is kind of linked together. And that's Angela underscore F Lewis. And that that's my handle on uh, Instagram. Really quickly, I wanted to just quickly give a shout out to the director of UN, which is Bronx MC. He definitely partnered with me in the vision. So even if you go to that official Angela Monique and you want to stream the UN, I got to give him a shout out because I wrote the vision and he took it and he put it on film and did an incredible yeah. job. Okay. Yeah. But yes, feel free to connect with me. And before we even go to your prayer, I just want to say thank you, Tony Lee, my brother. <laughs> yeah. My brother oh my Christ. God. Tony my Lee, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> he was the connector. Thank you, my yes. brother. Thank yeah, you for Tony putting Lee. us together. <laughs> That's my brother. Yes. Bro, my he he wrote my first and, song. Yes, so. and he's in the film. He plays yeah, the, the pastor. The pastor. <laughs> I told I had him laughing. Yes. I said, you're always the pastor in, a, in some film somewhere. You're always that's yes. a calling on your life. <laughs> but, oh, my yes. goodness. Look, we're saying wonderful. the same thing to him. Mm -mm. Yes, wonderful man of God. Um, yes, truly my is. brother. And I just, again, thank you, Angela, just for being a part of this experience. And I'm just going to let you take us to the throne of God. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We come in agreement for you being glorified on this call, on this podcast, God, on this platform. Lord, first, I just want to thank you again for blessing Paula, bringing on, Lord, filling her with so many gifts, Lord God, to expand your message, Lord, to expand your vision, Lord, that you've given her and that you've given others, God. Continue, Lord, to increase her, Lord God. Continue to lead her and guide her, Lord God, in everything that you have for her. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, Lord God, what you have yet to do, Lord God, in her life and in the lives of all the listeners is under the sound mm. of my voice and those that will come on later, God. We're just praying for your anointing. We know that you're here. We know that your presence is here, Father. But as we said before, Lord, I'm mm. asking that the seeds are being planted and in Jesus' Thank name, you, every listener, Lord God, will receive a revelation, will receive an unction from your Thank spirit, you. Father God, and be directed in the way that they should go, Father. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Father God, for just being God. You are, if you don't do anything else for you, for us, God, we thank you for being God, sitting high on the throne, Lord, and we Amen. give you your due respect. We bless your thank name you. and we worship you, Father. I just want to cover anyone, Lord God, that is going through heartbreak, Father, that is going through trials and tribulations yes. right now. In your word, Father, you said to cast your cares upon you for you care for us lord give them the strength and the faith to know that they can leave every heaven burden at your feet father for your yes, yoke yes. is light and easy lord and you are more than enough to carry it for them father Thank so we you, speak lord. healing over this line we speak yes. deliverance over this line father we yes, speak lord. lord that a mighty testimony will come from your people lord god yes, and you bring yes. them and lead them to victory yes, in yes. jesus name we pray amen Amen, amen, amen. Bless you, my sister. You, my sister. Bless you. And I, and Bless I just you. So, oh, so thankful for you. And I just want to again, always, I thank this wonderful platform for having me on. Uh, gosh, over three years, you know, just being yes. on this uh, platform. You know, thank you, Jerry Royce. Yes, Positive mm -hmm. Power Twenty One. I appreciate you so much, just for everything okay. that you do for God's people and to. Elify, you know, just lift up his 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 kingdom. You know, it's about kingdom building, and I'm just so blessed to be a part of that team here. Um, that that makes that happen. The testimony is God, and we 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 offer the testimony oftentimes to you as well as my sister, my guest. <laughs> 
<laughs> Angela, you the one, you the truth. I'm telling thank you, and I just want to thank the listeners again just for coming every Tuesday and not finding it robbery, not to, to not want to be here with me, Lord. <laughs> it would be so lonely, y'all, if, if you wasn't here with me at 9 o'clock um, and you could just sit and relax and be blessed by guests like my sister. Thank you so much, Angela. Uh, thank you, thank Paula. You. God, God bless, bless you. you. Again, an open door policy. You're always welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate it. I would love to be back and chat it up with you. <laughs> oh, thank you. God bless. The testimony, the testimony with Paula Brian, yeah. The diva for Christ, yeah. Oh, why don't you, why don't you tune in every Tuesday at 9 Eastern Standard Time? You are listening to the testimony with host Paula Brian. A.K.A. Diva for Christ. And in case you don't know what that stands for, it's the finely inspired vessel appointed and anointed for a time such as this. Hey, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, you don't want to miss on speaker.com. 